Oh, the battery got depleted. That's fine. And then it's probably going to chew through my battery. But if they... The designers are smart. They would have given us just enough to get up there. I have faith. Okay, but what is that? Can we make that shot? No. I'm going to jump to that first. We can keep going up, too. I, I, I don't mind getting X too much height. Too much height is never a problem. I'm going to jump off now. It can... It can... <laughs> go into heaven. <laughs> okay, so what is this? Is this is a Korok seed, but like... What kind of Korok seed is this? Um... Snap. I need to shoot this, but I can't? Oh, it's right beneath here. Wait, do we need to fuse this to the panel? Would that Does that just do it? Curses. That really sucks. Okay. Oh, that's... <laughs> okay, that's all we need to do. I vastly overcomplicated that. Okay, got it. Got it. We're good. We're fine. We're okay. Also, I don't know if you see that down there, but right beneath us... Like, right there is a shrine... So that's, that's something that I can probably get once I'm done with this island. Uh, okay, where's the best place to fly to? I think it's that. In Breath of the Wild, that was actually a big problem. Um, whenever you die, you would jump off something that Link would be told by the game to dive off of, all too often you get locked in the animation, but I'm, they fixed it. They've since fixed it, and it's not an issue, but it used to be an issue. Like, you're trying to dive into water, and Link just is like, oh, you, you mean... You mean dive, even though you're mashing the X button to glide? Okay, I understand. It's like, that's not what I want. Nor has it ever been. Okay, what... What does this one offer? Rockets. Wheels. Time bombs, which I'm still not sure how to use. Um, just because this one gives rockets, I'm gonna do this one more time. Nice. I'm hoping I get some wings from these. I, I desperately need them. Okay, left or right? Let's go. Let's go left. That one looks like a dead end, and it does honestly doesn't look like the the most important part of this this archipelago. Uh, you know what's kind of weird? So, I, I've been saying this for a bit, and only recently have some commenters started to kind of call me on it. Me saying that there isn't much in the depths is... Objectively, if you look at all the stuff I uncover in the depths, it doesn't seem true. But the thing you got to remember is in normal in normal gameplay you're constantly getting shrines which means you're constantly getting hearts and stamina and that is coming from Breath of the Wild that is the main progression point um, that marked how far you are through the game whenever you ask someone where they're at you typically say how many shrines do you have because that's kind of the percentage completion of the map and in the depths it's different um, all the stuff that you're finding is stuff that are, are either light fruit or uh, light roots, or is there really no Korok there or anything? It's either light roots or like actual pieces of gear, or items that are essentially infinite. And it's those infinite items: the zonite, the the puff shrooms, the uh, the the bombs, which I no longer have. That make it feel like there isn't much because constantly you're just encountering infinite resources and while that is true here and I, to be fair I have not been in the sky long enough to develop a, uh, a lasting impression of it uh, for all I know it, the gameplay loop will get a little bit tiring um, it that's a shrine it um 
how do I put this? The depths seem a lot more aimless than the sky does. Because the sky, you get to an island, you clear it, it's done. You, you know there's nothing left to uh, it has nothing left to offer you, you've gotten the reward that it clearly is meant to house, and then you move on. The, the depths, everything's hidden. Everything is non-linear. Anything and everything could be anything. And I think that's what separates them. While I do have a good impression of the depths, especially now that I have the Zonite to traverse them, um, I know kind of what I'm looking for. I know, because when we were originally doing the, the goddess statue hunt, I had no idea. And it felt like there was nothing. And to be fair, in this area, it, it really... There wasn't a whole lot, but once we got here, there was so much, and so it's overcoming that stigma that I myself <laughs> built. <laughs> that that has kind of been the the difficult part. Okay, so clearly this. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so we can we can do that. There's a chest on the side of this. As I rotate. It's lowering? Ah, I get what we need to do. We need to wrap it around, which I should have done it the other way. That's, that's really neat. We have to coil it around the, I think. Yeah, we have to coil it around. That's, that's really cool. That's clever. Okay, that's good enough. Also, this is probably the best take I've seen um, or a, a much better take on uh, the the apparatus puzzles, which thankfully never bothered me much in Breath of the Wild. I didn't have a problem with them, but I know a lot of people who did, and funnily enough... Oh wait, I need to cut that. There we go. All the, pe all the people I talked to that had a problem with the apparatus puzzles in, in uh, Breath of the Wild were all Switch users, which... If, uh, you played on Wii U, I don't know, I, I don't actually know if it's because the gyro, uh, controls on the Wii U are just strictly... Okay, we'll investigate that in a moment. Um, are just strictly better than the ones on Switch, but, um, I don't also, it might also be the sensitivity was turned up on the Wii U, and so you didn't have to feel like you were, um, you were driving a car, like, turning the wheel multiple times. Also, that poor chest. I can fuse chests to weapons. I should remember that. I don't know what that does, but I can do it. Uh, I want to do that. Um. Actually. What is in the center of this? Yeah, this is a much better way of doing the apparatus puzzles. What is this spire? Is it nothing? Huh. Weird. Or are we meant to hook up power? I think we're meant to hook up power. No? Maybe not. There's some sort of switch or mechanism by which we can get... We can raise up the shrine. Or... Follow the beam to its end and offer the crystal there. Do so, and I will offer you a light that banishes evil. Does that damage me? No. Okay. That's kind of cool. Uh, I'm guessing that will just take us to the shrine. But what else is on this island? I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to talk about when it comes to rewards in per and progression in the three zones of this map. The base map is pretty obvious, like, it's just the base map of Breath of the Wild, um, but a lot more interesting. And overall, like, even even though I keep saying, I keep kind of memeing on the depths and being like, there's nothing there, uh, there's still, it feels more rewarding than Breath of the Wild's map did. All of these maps feel so much better, and it might be the magic of playing the game, because if you played Breath of the Wild, you know that while on paper, which is kind of what I'm fixating on, on paper, it's has some issues. In practice, it has just the, it has a magic to it. 
It's like Skyrim. Is our Fallout 4 and Starfield objectively better? In some ways, yes. It's Skyrim still the goat of Bethesda? Yeah, probably. Unless you want to argue like New Vegas, Morrowind, or Oblivion. Like, there's just a magic that that game has, even to this day, that the, uh, the other games don't. The other new games don't, rather. Although... Although Starfield... You who offers the crystal, I w will grant you a light that banishes evil. Come into... My... Shack. <laughs> What? Oh, it's gonna grow, because it's a shrine. I didn't even think of that. That was like the same shape as a shrine. I, I carried the shrine. That's neat. I like that. Raru's blessing. Sick. Uh... <clears throat> While we're on the topic of Starfield, I actually kind of think that it's getting more flack than it deserves. Uh, and... Is that the light that banishes evil? Okay. I, I guess. Starfield, I think, is getting kind of a worse rap than it deserves. But that's also kind of coming from somebody who isn't playing it at the moment. I'm watching uh, Stephen George play it, and some of the quest design is honestly fantastic. And the world where you encounter all these little events, and some of the quests you do just change the events that you encounter in said world forever, is is so cool. I I think it's getting a little bit of a worse rap than it deserves, but I also kind of see where people are coming from on it, where... Um, uh, it doesn't feel like the world is big, it just feels like it's bloated, and I, I totally get that. Uh, where am I going next? It's kind of hard to quantify where I've been. Why they haven't added Hero's Path mode, I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's an item, I don't know. But Hero's Path mode was so good. Oh, I guess there's that shrine. I could go in the shrine. That's the cool thing. Hmm. Let's go to the shrine. Uh, the green marker? I suppose I should go over to that island, because it's closer. I'll go over here. Yeah, th this this island gets kind of close. And we get the, the launch launch pad. And maybe, maybe there's another island that I should be going to instead, and I can evaluate that from the launch pad. Get ready to launch me. Go, go, go. Bend down there. Although... Wait, why is he back? Hold the phone. I beat you. Also... Is that the Great Plateau? That is the Great Plateau. Huh. Huh. That's not quite a detour I expected to make, but maybe we make that detour. It feels like a kind of natural progression. Why are you alive? I'm like 100% sure I beat you. Uh, this. How much durability I'm using on this. There. He's bloodied. Why on earth did this respawn? It's not like there was a... It's not like there was a blood moon. I'm honestly at a loss for words on that. Like, I'll claim the reward. I'll be very happy with that reward. But I don't understand why I'm get getting it. Do we... 
melt that? I think we might melt that. I think it might be better. I don't know. We're gonna try it. For science. You never know until you try it. Uh, destroy fused material. <laughs> Snap. <laughs> okay, get this stuff back. I, I believe it's the same. But, okay, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm not going to get it. I don't understand it. Uh, I did want to explore that a little bit more, so we're, we'll do that, and then we're, we'll go down to that green shrine. Okay. Green shrine, here we go. I currently do not see the thing. I think it's... There it is. There it is. Man, we're returning to the Great Plateau. This is... This is crazy. I don't know if I want to fully explore it. But there are two shrines right here. I can't pass those up. And, uh... Quiz robe. Die. Thank you for the rod. Do I even want the rod? Uh, I didn't even think of that. I don't think I even want the rod. Whatever. This is nuts. Oh. It's like, like. It's gonna be kind of weird traversing a, uh, a great plateau that's not a tutorial area. I don't even know what that's going to mean. I think this was a, a goblin camp before. Force transfer. I feel like we've had a shrine called that before. Um. Oh, I, I get what I need to do. It is kind of cool that we're... Catch. Um. Now what? Around this? No. Can I recall it? Did it turn at one point in its life? No. Can I? No. Wait. There we go. Why isn't this? Oh, I can't attach it to both. Okay, I don't know what... Okay. I'm through. That was a little bit jank. I can grab a platform. I can send through the platform. And without a loading screen, yay! Future Pal's very happy! Chest is over there. Looks like I can use this as a lever. Getting another rod. This is not the chest. That's the chest. Um. Oh, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. It's just a matter of leverage. Attach. Easy. Durability up mighty construct bow. I think that's... 24, though? That kind of stinks. I don't like that. Now, here's my question. Drop. I think I... If... This is anything like... If this is anything like Breath of the Wild... Um... My word. I'm really struggling here. I... I need to loot the chest. In order to, uh...
I need to loot the chest in order to count this shrine complete, so we're gonna do that. Uh, what am I doing first off? Why is there a ladder here? It's very... What's the purpose of that? I, I don't understand. Uh... Interesting. I don't know why that exists, but it does. Okay, I can raise that. Oh, I got it. I got it. Easy enough. Raise this. Actually. Stasis this. Raise that. There we go. Send through this. And stasis that. Boom. Baby shrine. Now what do I do from here? I... Hmm. I'm really curious. Because I could explore the Great Plateau. We're here. But I don't think I need to explore every t everything I touch. I think I can come back to this area and not feel too bad. Because I, I do want to go to the, the Grudo Highlands. We have, we have story beats there. Uh, we have unfinished business with that region. So I don't want to just take... I don't want to just sidetrack like that. So maybe there's just also a shrine right next to us, but I think I I have to say no at some point, and we're going to be here. So I think we're gonna go back to the sky. We kind of we did something here. We're gonna go back to the sky, and then head west. Yeah. Although. Thinking about it, I don't have any Zonite left, and I don't have wings. So, am I not just warping to a Sky Island and then, f like, gliding west anyway? So is that not just a waste of time? Maybe, maybe I, I grab my horse. You know what, I think we do that. We're still gonna head west. But this is a little bit more organic. I think... Well... Well, yeah, no, I, I like this plan. Because I think there's gonna there's a stable here. Maybe not. Yeah, there's a stable here. Okay, yeah, this is this is a much better plan. It's convenient, and it's it's not just flipping off the resources we find and moving on. So yeah, let's let's grab this shrine. Go visit the Great Fairy, and then grab our horse and head head west. <laughs> 